Hi everyone, I am from ACM student chapter IIT ISM and I will be discussing problem C2 from code forces round 658. So uh, I have explained the question earlier. There are two binary strings and we have to make it equal by um, some 2n operations, at most 2n operations. In the previous version it was 3n operations and you can check it in the other video. Okay, so let's move on to this see here we are given 2n operations okay and um, so uh, one thing that i can tell you that um, we are able to do it in 2n operations only because of the beauty of the question which is involving binary strings that is uh, like only zeros and ones will be present okay so let us see how so suppose let us take this example this is my string s and this is my string t and uh, none of the uh, element is same right okay what i'll do is i'll add a common element to both um, s and t okay at the end of it so i'm adding zero here by default this is by default okay now what i'll do is i'll try to make all my elements of s equal to this common element which is zero right okay let's see how um, so what i'll be doing is that uh, if s of i is not sorry if s of i is not equal to s of i plus one like in this example if s of i is not equal to s of i plus one i'll apply the operation the operation is uh, uh, flipping the digits and reversing reversing the prefix so basically this will become equal to one right okay now again here s of i is not equal to s of i plus one so i'll apply the operation here so this will become zero and zero okay now this s of i is equal to s of i plus one so we, we don't need any operation so you can see that i was able to make my s the whole string equal to the last number added in less than n operations Hena? okay now what i need to do is i need to convert this s into t okay so i'll start from the back okay and apply similar kind of operation which is if t of i is not equal to t of i plus one i'll apply the move to s right in this case t of i is not equal to t of i plus one so i'll apply the move to this one what will happen is this will become one one and one right okay now i'll move on to the next one again they are not equal so again i'll apply the operation to this string and it will become zero zero so see one thing that you can observe here is that uh, after each operation after each such operation what is happening is my uh, this element my one element basically is becoming equal uh, is becoming equal or same in t of i and s of i and here if i take uh, one more such operation so what will happen is i'll apply the move here and this will become equal to one and you can see that um, this element also becomes same as this thing or in other words my string s becomes equal to string t and you can see that uh, the first one was in less than any less than equal to n operations and the second one was also able to uh, execute in less than equal to n operations so let's look at the code here um, first i'll add a zero at the end of s and t both now if s of i plus one is uh, sorry s of i is not equal to s of i plus one i'll apply a move here and um, for uh, by going reverse in string t if t of i is not equal to t of i plus one i'll apply a move here okay and then i'll print this array so you can see that we were able to do it at at most 2n operations right so if you like the prop if you like the solution then subscribe to our channel and also share it with your friends thank you